Hi everyone, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and I wanted to show you these beautiful little spring butterflies that I made and I think they're really cute. I used the clear pet stickers and I also show you a way to separate the pet stickers from the plastic that I found um, to be fairly quick and easy. So um, I had a lot of fun with these and I'll show you exactly how I made these and don't be discouraged if you don't have all these supplies because you can leave things off or do them a different way or substitute them with something else and I talk to you about that throughout the video. Okay, so um, with that said, I'm going to lay this down here. Um, it doesn't matter how large your butterfly punch is or how small. Okay, just use a butterfly punch you have. This one is um, approximately 1.42 inches in um, width. Okay, and this one is just a hair over a half an inch in width. So, like I said, you know, we you can use both. And see, even the tiniest ones turn out really cute. All right, so we'll get started, and I'll show you um, what I did to make these beautiful little butterflies. Okay, so to start, the punch that I'm using today is one I purchased from Amazon a while back, and this is by EK Tools. This butterfly is approximately 1.42 inches in width. Okay. So I'll be using that. And then at the very end, I'm going to show you something really cute that I made with this little tiny butterfly punch here. And this is also from um, EK Tools. And I did purchase this from a gal on eBay um, who was selling different stamps. And so I got this, I believe, for six dollars so um, you know they don't always have them that cheap but, but if you search eBay every once in a while you'll come up with something that's a real bargain and I don't believe I had to pay shipping on that either oh and this is a, just a hair over a half an inch in width okay so if you can't get this particular butterfly you can get something that's kind of an equivalent to it. And then I'll be using um, the same paper that I used quite a bit in my Christmas videos. And this is the Diamond Print Glittered White cardstock. And it's by Pin and Gear. That's Walmart. You find this where um, the office supplies are and all of the um, copier paper is and um, the sticker paper and all kinds of different types of papers okay and this is at that time in December this was six dollars and something cents a package and you do get ten sheets it's shed free because you can actually print on this with your inkjet printer and I think people use this when they're printing wedding invitations and things like that but um, that's what I'm using. And just for the fun of it, I'll also be making some gold butterflies with this gold card stock that I showed in one of my Timu videos. Okay? So um, now when you go to punch these butterflies out, I learned that if you turn it over the paper on the opposite side, and punch the butterflies out um, you don't see any white edges around the butterfly if you turn it this direction and try to punch the butterflies out sometimes you'll see like little white edges now um, you can also purchase this gold cardstock in the open cardstock section at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and they also have this in a metallic silver as well so a um, little information for you 
Okay, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Now these butterflies that I made, I basically just used up what I had here. And you can switch out different things, and, and I will definitely let you know where I purchased um, some of the items, uh, if you would like to look into that. But um, you can also look in your stash and find things that are kind of equivalent and make your own butterflies. Now, I wanted to use um, the clear stickers or the transparent stickers on my butterflies. And so I had purchased these packages of flowers. They call them pet stickers. And I have some in pink, blue, and yellow. Now the um, pink and blue had a lot in there that I could use. This yellow was a little more challenging because they had huge flowers. Yes, you can use them, but you also want people to know that you also want people to know that they are flowers and so using for example this big um, sunflower here I could only use part of the petals and it might look kind of odd now there were other pieces in there that were a little better like this this is large but you could definitely tell these are flowers so you could use like a piece of that and um, you know you can actually use um, this on probably several butterflies because you only need a little corner of it but um, you can also find this is just literally the tail end of some flowers that I had and these are transparent flowers and so these would be wonderful to use, which I did use on this particular gold butterfly. You can see. Now I had used up all of my bright colors on here, so I had to go with the duller colors, but I still think it turned out really pretty. So we'll go ahead and use these I think for today. Now some people find it very challenging to peel these stickers apart. I did find a way that worked for me um, so I'm going to share it with you and you can um, see if it works for you as well. Okay so we'll get started on that. Okay, so I'm using this little pet sticker here. So you're going to need some scotch double-sided permanent tape and I got this from the Dollar Tree but you can find it in any office supply section and what I'm doing is I'm placing that tape right here on my finger. Now you're going to place your finger on the on the dull side of the sticker. You're going to put it close to the top but not completely over the top. See? Like that. Then just take your thumb and start doing this on the edge. And see? Look at that. Comes right off. Now be careful. You don't want any fingerprints on the adhesive. So I'm just taking the very bottom and I'm going to um, place this on the edge of my desk like you would if you were wrapping a package and um, you were you cut the scotch tape ahead of time you know like this right on the like right on the edge okay and then we'll go ahead and get started throw this away all right now, I hope my camera doesn't go out because I was filming one part and for some reason it just didn't film and 
it just shut off on its own. Okay, so for each butterfly you're going to need two pieces, okay? And at this point you're going to decide whether you're going to make the wire um, antennae or if you're just going to glue on a couple of diamond dots. So if you're going to glue on a couple of diamond dots, I bought these at Hobby Lobby and this is the number right here. Um, you just take a little tiny bit of glue right at the tips just on one of them though, just the top, okay? And you're going to dump this out and take your, your little pickup tool, pickup rhinestone tool, and then just put it right there at the bottom. Of course there'll be glue there so it'll be easier <laughs> to attach. Eh, what is that? I think it's got glue on it already. Okay. Yeah, like that. And then you do the same thing on on the other one. Okay? So that's if you want to use the rhinestone. And I showed you an example here where we went with the diamond dots at the top. Okay. You only need to place the diamond dots on one of these. Okay. Now, if you decided you wanted to do the wire antennae like this, then all you have to do is skip this part completely and take your little detail scissors and just snip the antennae completely off like that on both of them which is what I'm going to do okay All right. just to give you a couple of options there huh? alright and then I'm going to take my tweezers and you get a package of four different types of tweezers at um, uh, Hobby Lobby oh, not Hobby Lobby oh my goodness Lori um, at Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store I've seen them in both okay brain cramp there for a moment okay, I'm gonna hold this together and then bend this like this all right, and we're going to glue it like that. But before we actually glue these on, we're going to put the flowers on. But I wanted to show you what I did for the top first of all. Okay, now um, I'm going to take these little cherry blossoms because I want I want to use these. I think they're so pretty, and. I'm going to stick these right about here, okay? And I'm going to leave this empty, of course, because we're going to be gluing here and adding uh, the center of the butterfly. So we just want to put a sticker here. Now you're going to flip it over because it's so much easier to see where you are by doing that. And I'm just going to carefully cut, take my time along this butterfly, like so, and you have what looks like this on one side. Now don't throw this away because you can use this. You can use this maybe for the bottom on the opposite side. Don't really want the butterfly in there. 
I think it would look a little strange having a butterfly on a butterfly. I'm going to round this off. Now that part I'm going to throw away. You know I need to adjust my camera too. I noticed I'm down at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Alright, so that's the bottom part. I'm going to carefully cut around here. You'll definitely need detail scissors to do this with. Okay. Alright. So we have the bottom here. See this will go like that. Now I'm going to put some blue on this side. So I think I'm going to use this large sticker and I might use some of this here at the top and of course I'm going to be saving this part always save your stickers don't throw them away because sometimes it takes just a little tiny corner of a flower to really make your butterfly see okay and Set this aside, and let's see, maybe I'll use, hmm, maybe I'll use this sticker, oh, and maybe just part of the flower like this, and then turn this over. I'll be saving this sticker as well. Okay, so we've got this. That's a pretty top already, I think, to this butterfly. And I'm going to add maybe a little on this side with some blue. I'll use the rest of this blue sticker that we cut. Yeah, maybe on this side. And turn this over. And still don't throw this away because you could still use this piece. It still has some flowers on it or the leaves. really fun to kind of see how these turn out too once you cut around them. Here we go. Okay, so we have this so far. I might put something up at the top here. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this sticker that I'd already cut. Maybe for the top part. Like maybe like that. Okay. just like this. And place this. I'm going to use this again, so I'll stick this right here. Turn it over, and 
this is what we have. And if you need to go back and trim it up a little more, you can feel free to do that. Okay. Oops, see, I need to cut some more off here too. I did not see that. My eyes are not the best. My doctor, my eye doctor told me that without my glasses, I see at 2100. <laughs> My glasses do help a lot. It does not make my vision perfect, but it helps a lot. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. I think that turned out so pretty. Look at that. So now I'm just going to take some of my Fabri-Tac glue, and boy, do I need Fabri-Tac. I am running really low. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of lining up that piece in between here so I can see where I'm at. Now you want these to dry completely because you want to be able to decorate the middle without um, worrying about the top part falling off. So I'm going to set this aside for now and um, I'm going to work on the, the gold butterflies. And I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I'm going to be placing a, a little and on each side so yeah I'm gonna cut this straight off like that and I'm gonna do the same thing to this yeah you want to make it straight okay that looks good so I'm just going to take this now and fold this in half and then I will um, decorate this off camera because I don't want this video to be too long but I will use the same process as I used on this one and then I'll come back and show you. Okay so we made up our little gold butterfly here. I think it turned out nice. Don't worry about the crinkly paper in the middle. That'll all be covered. Now you're going to need some earring bales and I've showed this before um, in a few of my projects. And these earring bales, they're different from the pendant bales. The earring bales have the eye at the top facing forward. Okay, The pendant bales have the eye at the top facing side to side. So you want these. Um, I found mine on Amazon. They had um, these glue-on pendant bales in four different shades. They had um, regular gold, a bronze color, a bright silver, and a dull silver more like a stainless steel type of silver and um, so this will be what you're using these are wonderful to hang charms from so just go to Amazon and type in the words in the search bar glue on earring bales B A I L S now you can also use those key search words to search elsewhere if you'd like but I just know that they have them on Amazon um, but we're going to go ahead and glue these on. And I'm, I'm just using my 
Fabri-Tac glue. I need to wipe this off. My glue bottles was kind of a mess. All right, and I'm just gonna put a little dab here, and you're gonna place this at the bottom, like like so. See? And allow that to dry. You're gonna do the same thing. Ah, it's starting to come out. Okay. On this here. I'm just going to place this right here. Okay. And we're just going to allow it to dry. Dry thoroughly. And then we'll be back. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look in your stash and see what you have um, in the way of rhinestones that are four millimeters or less okay now I purchased this multicolored package of four millimeter rhinestones um, from Hobby Lobby and as you can see I got them on clearance I would have never paid this price for it normally now they do have paper studio um, on sale I do believe it's 40 percent off for this week yeah so when I post this it'll still be 40% off um, through Saturday and then Sunday they change their ads again um, so you can get smaller packages of course but this is just what I had in there so that's what I'm using and once again these are four millimeter and I got these little AB diamond dots From Hobby Lobby as well and they're much smaller than the four millimeter I would guess these to be about three millimeter although it doesn't say that on the bottle that's just my estimate and this is the diamond dot number here okay so what I used um, to glue these on if you don't have these, is I use this art glitter glue and it dries clear. It really does dry clear. That's what I used on this at the top, as you can see. And you don't see any glue. Okay. And I think I'm going to use a few of these diamond dots. And then I'll also use the four millimeter rhinestones to show you that you can use those as well. So for the diamond dots, I have a an attachment that actually goes on there that makes an even smaller stream of glue, but I don't really think I need it. So I'm going to set this aside, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my rhinestone picker tool, oops, sorry, and I'm just going to put a little dot of glue there. Just set it right there in the middle of the flower. And my there. And see this will dry completely clear, so you don't have to worry about the the white glue. And I think I'll put a little middle in here and in here as well. Oh, I gotta screw this on. It was So I might leave this section blank here. I might put just um, a random cluster here of three. I 
one, two, and three. See? It really looks nice when you do it that way. And um, if you wanted to, you could put um, maybe on um, on the opposite side up at the top, maybe put a cluster of three there. Maybe more towards here. And we're going to do one. and three okay so I'm gonna and like I said when this dries clear it'll be really pretty and I'm I'm gonna do that too just on the edges here I don't want to do it way back there because nobody's gonna see it anyway so I might do like a cluster of three here and maybe a cluster of three at the top here okay so I'll do that next and then I'll do the same thing with this butterfly I want to do the edges so you can still see them one two three See? That way you can see it peeking out over there. And then I will put a random cluster of three here. And you could do the same thing with a four millimeter um, adhesive rhinestone stickers that I showed you. So that's got to dry. And so, let's see, I think I'm going to put a little middle to this flower. Put one little rhinestone here. There we go. Alright, so I think that's enough for this. So I'm going to allow this to dry thoroughly. I'm going to do the same thing with this and but I'll do it off camera. Um, I think I'm going to use... You know what? Maybe I better do this on camera because I'm going to show you these rhinestone stickers. Pull part of this out. And I like the multicolor because you have your choice of using you know, different colors. And so what I'll do here is I'll peel, oh, that came off, hold on. Mm. Oh. Maybe yes, okay. So I'm going to cut about, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I cut them. I don't peel them off because if you peel them off, sometimes it stretches the adhesive and then the adhesive comes completely off of the back. So I think I'm going to do a cluster of three here at the top. Cut this. And then I'm going to place this third little rhinestone right there. So you'll have your cluster of three. And I like the paper studio, it seems to stick really well. 
So now I'm going to put a little cluster of three down here as well. Maybe I'll cut this in advance. <laughs> I think that would be helpful. Okay. So I'm going to place one, two, and then three here. So basically you want to use what you have on hand. Three millimeters or four millimeters work beautifully on this. So I might put one tiny little limestone there. Maybe in a pink. And let's see. I'm going to cut this off here. in half. Okay. All right. So maybe for the pink, I'm going to place one little rhinestone here and then a clear little rhinestone at the tip. Okay. All right. Okay. And you have to remember, we're going to be putting something pretty and blingy in between here, too. All right. So now I'm going to do the same type of thing down here. Um, maybe not quite as much. I'll put um, maybe just one rhinestone here, one rhinestone here, and maybe a trio right here. Then I'll leave that blank. So I'll go ahead and finish this off camera now, and um, we'll be back, and we'll glue in the middle part. Okay, so I went ahead and did this with the 4 millimeter, as you can see. Now, they also have the loose, non-adhesive rhinestones at Hobby Lobby. They're hanging up in little packages. You find them in the jewelry making section. And they have all different sizes, three millimeter, four millimeter, and you could pick up that as well and use the same method as I did with the diamond dots. And you can see it's just starting to clear, or starting to turn clear, just starting. You can still see some white, but like I said, when it's completely dried, you're going to be looking at this and you'll say, where's all the white? <laughs> It dries completely clear. So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place a little middle in here. Now there's different ways that you can do this, okay? And I'll give you some ideas and you can choose from um, what you would like to do. I have in my stash, I chose three different things that I could use. This is two and a half millimeter AB rhinestone close chain and I've had this for a long time. You could use this for the center and I believe I purchased this oops sorry off Amazon. This is a roll. I've had it for a very long time. I like it. I think this is pretty because it has a very light color Aurora Borealis. Sometimes you purchase them and they'll be too dark of an Aurora Borealis. But I like this. This is just very light, very pretty. I bought this from Timu. I actually got several yards of this, and it was a dollar seven. Now this is a little smaller. This is two millimeter, 
and you can see it's a lot smaller than the two and a half millimeter. I think this may be a little too small. I mean, you could use it, but I don't know. I think the two and a half millimeter would work better. But this is very pretty. There's a lot of room there, so you know. I mean, you could use this, like I said, but see, I mean, it would be pretty. I might give that a whirl anyway. And you can also use pieces of rosary chain. You can buy rosary chain by the foot if you would like. Um, they have them on eBay and Etsy. This is some rosary chain with some four millimeter beads and I think the four millimeter beads are perfect with this and I did make this and see I left one of the little beads hanging off the end like that and when I did that I was able to hook the charm to the loop right down here on one of the little beads so I didn't even need an earring bail at the back. So you could do that too if you wanted to. Okay? And these are also four millimeter. Now see this has an earring bail, but you wouldn't need it um, to put one on with rosary chain. Or for that matter, any type of linked chain would work out really well. You could eliminate that altogether. Now this is three millimeter, and as you can see, there's quite a difference in the size bead, but it would still work. It would definitely still work, um, but I would prefer the four millimeter, I think, over this. You could also use trim in your stash if it was narrow enough. Um, anything you would like. So this is kind of a use what you have type of butterfly. So I think we're going to glue on this rhinestone here. And I believe I used six. One, two, three, four, four. Yeah. I used six of the two and a half millimeter rhinestone chains, so we're gonna cut this off right here with my flush cutters. There we go. And I'm gonna take you could use um, the white glue just like I showed you with um the little diamond dots, you could use that in the middle, but I'm using the fabric tack and I'm just gonna put some right down the center here. And then I'm gonna take my tweezers. Put this on, I'm just gonna lay it down the tweezers and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my tweezers and do this make them nice and straight I'm supposed to make them nice and straight <laughs> yeah Sometimes I play with them too much. Okay, that's good enough, I think. So I'm just going to allow that to dry here. And I think for this gold one, I might just go ahead and try the 2mm. 
instead of using the two and a half millimeter and it doesn't have a gold back to it so um, yeah I might try that I think I'll cut one two three maybe seven links for this one because it is a smaller chain let me move my camera down a little more dark but okay so I'm gonna take my I'm gonna put just a little bit not a whole lot just a little I'm gonna tap it on chain okay I think I'm gonna push this together okay oh that looks pretty I like that that's nice oh my gosh I'll be back okay so we're going to place a little charm right here on our earring bell. So I'm using a six millimeter gold jump ring from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going to slip on this six millimeter gold bicone, and it's in pink. And then that glue on me. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using this 15 millimeter leaf bead, and it's green and I'm just going to feel for the bumpy part because that will be the front okay and you're just gonna slip that on through too do you have what looks like like that Whoop. sorry about that okay and uh, and we're just going to slip this right onto the bale like that. Then we're going to close it. I'm having a heck of a time seeing, even with glasses. Okay, um, there we go. I think that's it. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. So it looks like this, okay? And I did get the 15 millimeter leaf bags from Timo, and I checked and they have them on the site still. It's $1.34 for 100 of them. You get a whole bag of 100. And I had picked up these long leaf beads too, but to be quite honest with you, I don't think I would use these nearly as much as I would use these. Okay. So lastly, we are going to... Um, oh, wait a minute. Before that, I want to show you something here. The gold butterfly that we... Oh, that wasn't the one. What did I do with it? This is the one that we did together. I added a little six millimeter bicone crystal bead at the bottom, but that's all I added. I didn't add the leaf with it because it just, I don't know, I just didn't think it looked right with the gold. Um, not that it didn't match, it just looked more elegant with just this attached because the butterfly is gold. And I did make the little antennae up here and I place that on and I'll show you how to do that on this butterfly okay and I even went back to my original um, gold butterfly and added a little clear crystal charm with a bale of course to that as well okay so what you're going to need for 
the antennae is you're going to need some of this soft aluminum wire. This is 18 gauge soft aluminum wire. This is very different than the um, craft wire that you would use for jewelry making. Okay, this is totally different. This is made of aluminum and it's cheap. Walmart, not Walmart, Hobby Lobby sets this out every year with um, their Christmas crafts. You know when they start bringing in Christmas crafts and everybody gets excited about it during the summer? I think that happens in August, somewhere around that time, where they start setting up these little kiosks full of Christmas um, craft supplies all the way down the aisle. This is always hanging there because uh, people do craft with it. It's very soft and pliable. I'll show you. Look, you can even form this with your finger and it doesn't hurt. Okay. Now with something like this for jewelry making, it's a little different. This is 18 gauge, but you cannot bend it easily and it would hurt your finger. Okay. So this is the aluminum craft wire. And this would be an equivalent, I guess, to um, the soft craft wire that you would see, well, like um, at Walmart, you know, down below the jewelry section on the bottom shelf, there's a lot of um, prepackaged beads for a dollar. Sometimes they have the aluminum craft wire in there too. It would be that type of thing. And they have the aluminum, the soft aluminum craft wire in the 18 gauge as well um, on Amazon, I believe. Amazon, yeah. So, and you might want to look, you know, look around. AliExpress, I'm sure, has it. Just make sure it's the, the aluminum craft wire, okay? All right, so I went on and on long enough about that. <laughs> okay. I cut five inches of the craft wire. And I'm going to measure two and a half inches because that's the middle. And so I'm going to bend this upwards like this. Okay. Now, um, with your round nose prior pliers, I'm just going to start it like this on both sides. See? One going this way and one going the opposite direction. And this craft wire is very forgiving, too. Okay. So now, from this point on, I'm just going to roll it with my fingers. Because this is soft and it does not hurt to do that. You would never be able to do that with the 18 gauge wire for jewelry making. And I'm going to go down to about here. And don't worry if you go too far down. You can always adjust it. And I'm going to roll this down like that. And if you don't like the way you did it, you can roll it back up. Roll it back down again. And they're not going to be perfect. They're supposed to be whimsical okay and let me kind of measure from where things are here and you want them standing up a just just tall enough to um, sit on the back wing about that about that high okay so that's pretty good I think so I'm gonna make a little bend that way and a little bend that way and then I'm gonna bring them up again like so alright so I'm gonna put some glue there actually probably about here yeah and I'm gonna also use some book binding tape 
that I had laying around. It's, you can use any type of strong tape like that. And I have it in white, which is nice because it matches that. Not that you're going to see the back anyway, but I don't know. I just like it that I guess that it's the same color. <laughs> I don't know. It might be my um, OCD coming out in me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a little bit of um, Fabri-Tac. I'm going to put a piece of this book tape across that. Now, you can use hot glue if you want instead of Fabri-Tac. Just be mindful that you're not going to have a lot of time to adjust it. Um, so if you're pretty confident that you can adjust it pretty quickly, then I would use that. If not, use the Fabri-Tac because it does give you a little bit of time, you know. Okay, so like I said, I'm not worried about the back. More than likely, um, You'll be putting a piece of adhesive on there anyway and using this as a card embellishment or an envelope embellishment. Wouldn't this be pretty if you gave somebody a, a, like a gift card and an envelope and this was right in the corner of the envelope? It would be beautiful. So, um, alright, we're just going to allow that to dry and I will... Put all of these out together, these butterflies, to show you. And then I'm going to show you how to make those little bitty butterflies. So stay tuned. Okay, so here are all my beautiful butterflies ready and waiting to be put on cards. I think they turned out really lovely. And I had fun making these too. I really did. And, you know, like I said, go through your stash first and see what you have that you can use. You can always trade things out and, you know, practice with them. And if you don't um, want to do the wire part, you can just leave the little antennae like I showed you and put a little rhinestone um, at the top of each antennae. So there's a million different ways you can do these. Um, here are some of the little bitty butterflies that I made. I thought they turned out really cute. Like that, right? I don't know if you can see up close. And I made these with this little punch here. And these would also be cute. You could do something like this, you know, set this in the corner of a card and have a little butterfly even floating around like this off to the side. One here and maybe one here. I'll lay it down to show you. Like, like maybe this, something like that in the corner. Well, that'd be cute. Okay, so um, what I did with these butterflies, let me get a couple of white ones here, is I started out by taking um, a gold metallic paint pen, and this is by Marvi Uchida. And it's Deco Color Premium. I got this a while back on uh, on Amazon, and then I found out that they also carried them in the craft stores. So. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump this a little bit. Okay. All right. Hold on for just a second. 
Okay, just the just the one butterfly. You're gonna just do this right here on the top of the antennae, so it's gold. Okay, just the top. That's all. Now that I got paint pen on my hands. <laughs> all right, and. You're going to allow this to dry because you will smudge it if you don't allow it to dry a little bit. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these um, adhesive rhinestones. Five, six, seven, eight. You're going to need eight of them per butterfly. And I'll start with the bottom. Uh, you're going to stick a rhinestone as, as far back as you can, um, almost to the edge of the wing, because you're going to need that room. These are four millimeter. And you're just going to snip it. And then do the same thing on all four wings. right here and then I'm gonna cut this off like that and then right here and I'm gonna cut this off okay so we have the the bottom of the butter butterfly ready okay now I'm gonna do it with the one that we put the gold on the wings. I'm going to try not to touch those those antennae. We want this back as far as we can to the edge. And I have to tell you a story about my butterflies. I had to do my butterflies all over again. I spent a good part of the day just having fun making butterflies. And I got a little tired. It was in the afternoon. I thought, ah, I'm going to lie down for a little bit. So I did that. And about 40 minutes, I woke up. And I looked at my desk and I thought, oh no, I didn't put my butterflies up. And I knew, and I went over to my desk and sure enough, my um, daughter-in-law's cat, she had batted all of the butterflies onto the floor, chewed them up. Two are still missing. I have no idea where it is. Oh, my heart sank. <laughs> So I had to do all that all over again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought, well, that will teach me. It didn't take her very long, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to put my tweezer there. I'm going to go up like this. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Fabri-Tac again. And then I'm just going to put this right on top. And I'm just going to try to to make the um, antennae even like that at the top. And I think I did a pretty good job. Okay. And if not, I think I did a good job because I can't see. <laughs> so if I didn't, don't tell me. Let me live in bliss. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
there we go now the middle that was easy for me because I just used the two millimeter gold rhinestone that I showed you you can use two and a half millimeter that's um, what I put on these little guys I believe yeah two and a half millimeter but two millimeter looks great too especially for these tiny little guys yep so you're gonna cut if you're using two millimeter you're gonna cut four rhinestones roughly and it might vary depending on how large your butterfly is and then I'm gonna take some of this fabric tack again oh my goodness I I have to make time and go on Amazon and get some more fabric tack I looked at Walmart the last couple times and for some reason they haven't had it on the shelf they haven't restocked it but I know it's popular because when it is on the shelf it goes quickly okay I'm trying to shake it down because I forgot to put it upside down so I will be back in a second okay so I'm just gonna put I'm dotting it like this it seems to work better when I dot it it I don't know why it just seems to the glue just seems to adhere to this a little better when I kind of dot it like this for the smaller ones anyway um, okay so I'll pick up a two millimeter chain and put this right in the middle and you're gonna push the chain together make it fit and you're gonna kind of tap on it make it stick here we go that's pretty much it right here just like that yeah and then you just let it dry so and these would also be really cute to put on um, a card where you made flowers and put them on the front and you could have some little tiny butterflies floating around too so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I know this was longer than usual it's just that I didn't want to skip any steps or not show you how I did it so you could understand um, you know how easy it is or how difficult it would be for you so with these I think they're easy. I I I don't do hard. <laughs> and if I can do this even at my, you know, even with my um eyes like they are, then I'm sure you can do them too. So you take care and God bless each and every one of you. And thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. Um I do do videos off and on. Um, during the off season but as it becomes closer to Christmas towards the end of August somewhere around there um, that's probably when my craft videos for Christmas will be starting and at that point I start posting once a week all the way through Christmas so um, thank you for your patience and um, you take care God bless you all